Federal health officials today issued their latest guidelines on the flu as cases of the swine, or H1N1 flu, continue to spread. Joining us now, in fact, joining ABC News today as our senior medical editor is Dr. Richard Besser, a veteran of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention who has spent years on the front lines of the most important public health issues. And swine flu is certainly a public health issue on everybody's mind. As they say, everybody's talking about it. That's right. So let me ask you some of the questions that I hear. If this flu is relatively benign, why do I need to worry about it? You know, I, I think that's a great question, and it's one that I get all the time. There's several things people need to understand. One is, whenever there's a new outbreak, there's uncertainty. Um, how this will unfold is, is not clear. What we've seen so far has been very encouraging in terms of severity. Another reason people need to worry or, or need to take action is what we do now as individuals and as parts of communities will impact on how severe this is in our own communities and around our country. You keep talking to me about individual responsibility. What do you mean? Well, there, there are several things. Uh, we, we talk so frequently about the importance of hand washing. Um, hand washing will help prevent you from getting sick, but it will also help prevent you from transmitting the infection to, to others. Uh, when you're sick or when your children are sick, keeping them home. Uh, it's hard to work effectively when you're sick. It's hard for children to focus when they're sick, but also when they're sick, they're more likely to transmit that infection to other people. Now, we keep hearing about a vaccine, but then we hear a vaccine's not going to be ready until maybe mid or late October, but the flu season starts much sooner than that. Right. So do I, what, what do I do about vaccines? Well, you know, when we talk about a flu season, uh, again, there's uncertainty in terms of when will the peak be. Uh, it could be early. It could be as early as November. It could be later. But even if the peak is as early as November, uh, it's very likely this outbreak will continue through the winter into the spring. And that vaccination that you get, whether you get it in October, November, or even January, will protect you in the spring. How do I know if I've got swine flu? How do I know whether I've got that or the regular flu? Well, I mean, that's a great question. Right now, uh, data from the CDC shows that all that's circulating in the United States is the new H1N1, the swine flu, flu strain. As the winter progresses, there are going to be other strains that come in. But the important part is how you treat swine flu and how you treat regular flu are the same. And so it doesn't matter as an individual which one you have. And what did the CDC say today? They said, well, you don't necessarily take Tamiflu. Yeah, they, they modified the recommendations slightly. And the recommendations vary depending on whether you are in a high-risk group. If you're elderly, if you're very young, under five, if you have underlying medical conditions or you're pregnant, it's important that you get treatment, see your doctor very early. If you're an otherwise healthy adult, uh, what we're seeing with this course is that it's pretty mild, and it runs its course without uh, requiring the treatment with, with Tamiflu. All right. Dr. Besser, good to have you with us. Thank you. Nice to have you on board.